Hello and welcome to Dee's 20 Stitches. I'm Dee, my pronouns are they, them. I'm a queer and trans cross-stitcher and designer and educator. And it is April. It's April. <laughs> uh, it is April. It's the end of April. It's April. I think I'm filming this on the 20th, 21st, something like that. I wanted to get a floss tube out for you before May, before also I leave for Stitch North, which... I leave for Stitch North in too few days. <laughs> so I wanted to get, I wanted, I have so much stuff to show you. I've probably forgotten a lot of it because my brain is mush currently. Um, this is a cross stitch channel. I'm going to talk about, about cross stitch um, and I talk about myself and uh, we do a little bit of education sometimes. Today? I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, let's just talk about um, a couple things that have been happening in my zone. My zone. Uh, number one, we released the Spring Fling 2023 boxes. They're off. They're in hands. People are cherishing them. They're coveting them. Um, the Spring Fling is a box that uh, my buddy Kari and I do together. Kari is the artist. Um, I'm just a lowly, lowly designer and uh, planner, I guess. <laughs> um, and uh, together we work with local Canadian companies like Brit and Needle and Million of Stitches to put together a box. This is an exclusive design, two exclusive designs that are based on Kari's art and use Brit and Needle floss and fabric. And they're gone, they're out. They're gone, they're, they're in people's hands. I can't show you the models currently. I can't show you the patterns. I really want to, but the Spring Fling Digital Retreat is on May 7th. So I'll be able to show you that, all that stuff. If you're not already in the retreat, that's okay. I'll show you that stuff after. Uh, thing number two that's happening is Stitch North. Stitch North is the brainchild um, of uh, uh, Carolyn Evertote, I believe, and it's in Brampton, Ontario. There's two weekends. I only have so much spring break, so I'll be there weekend A, and I am coming with a big load. Rude. A big, <laughs> a big table full of Kari and my patterns. Um, I've got also an exclusive pattern that I made myself. I think I showed you last time, the Beverly Glen sampler. Um, I think I'm bringing something like 13, 14 different patterns. It's, it's buck wild. It's, um, we folded everything yesterday, uh, me and Kari and uh, my partner, and uh, we ate some sushi and it, looking at the big pile of all the stuff we created was amazing. So I can't wait to show that to you if you're going to Stitch North. Uh, if you're not coming to Stitch North, I'm sure I'll have a little preview, post, post view <laughs> after I come back in May. Um, and I'll, I'll tell you all about it. This is my first in-person retreat. Um, I'm a little nervous, um, but I know there's gonna be a lot of friendly faces there in weekend A. I've been told uh, to watch out, um, <laughs> for the amount of people, um, uh, the friendly, the, sorry, I've been told to watch out for hugs, <laughs> and if you're Betsy, toots, she, she's gonna be excited, she toots, that's what she told me, that's why I love her, um, but there's gonna be a lot of friendly faces, and I'm really excited, so those are the two things that have kept my world going, and then also I have a career, I'm a teacher, so I had report cards and final exams. <laughs> so my world's been a little bit topsy-turvy. That's why this might seem a little disorganized and topsy-turvy, but I'm still going to show you some really neat stuff. Um, if you sent me something and I don't talk about it here, it's not because I didn't love it. It's because it's in a pile. I loved on it. I loved it. I cherished it. And then it got put here <laughs> and I will uncover it at some point um, and I do appreciate you so if you if you send me something and you don't see it in this video I'll find it and I'll cherish it again don't you worry and you're appreciated um, just my brain has been on fire 
Let's see. Uh, here's my book of dates. I haven't stickered it yet, but that's what we're dealing with. I've got a couple things to show you. Did I leave some stuff upstairs? Yes. Am I going to go get it? Absolutely not. Don't worry about it. I'll do it in May. Uh, oh, we've got a couple finishes. Um, this is, this has nothing to do with nothing. This is just like a leisurely finish. This is where there are bees by a prairie schooler. It is done one over one on 25 count with the call for DMC, but I did change some colors. Like I changed the, um, the little honeycomb at the bottom and at the top. I changed to yellow. I changed like the border. I changed some flower colors. That's supposed to be all that darker. I, I changed the crown so it wasn't so yellowy. Um, just, just so there was more balance in it. Um, this was, I believe, my oldest non-long dog whip. That sounds about right. Um, and uh, I finished it. I'm so happy about it. Uh, so that's, that's one off the docket. That's one off the docket. This was started in November 24th, 2020. And uh, it took some chipping away at, as Nithya says, gotta chip away. Yeah, I'm really happy about that one. It's gonna go in a really small frame, I think. And I'm gonna, I have a, I have a B room upstairs. <laughs> So it's gonna go in my bee room. That's where I keep all my bees. Where do you keep all your bees? <laughs> if not your bee room. I would love, I would love a hive. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I would love a hive in my house. And so anything, anytime there's some nonsense, I just release, release the bees. It's like having a, a guard dog only you just you have a hive that would be so dangerous Oof. okay we've got that finish um i have this finished too i think i showed you this last time yeah but not it was not finished um this was my release for the trans day of visibility you probably saw it. Hopefully you saw it. Maybe you purchased it. This is let's make a statement. Number one. Nope. Number two. <laughs> Trans folks always have been and will be. And then I got the little, little uh, what is it called? Birdie. <laughs> this is done on a navy. Um, count, Ugh. looks like 32 to me, looks like 32 to me, just regular linen, like that Weigard stuff, that like bulk navy stuff that you get. Um, this is the same palette as let's make a statement number one. So it has DMC, um, the green, blue, pink, and white. It has the DMC, whoopsie, it has the DMC A12 topaz and the yellow and then it has the Brin and Needle I believe it's called Let's Get Tibsy um, variegated floss though my buddy Cal um, who is also a trans designer uh, they pointed out that there is a DMC and I put it in the pattern as like an alternative there's a DMC variegated floss that is white pink and blue so if you don't have Let's Get Tibsy or you don't have I believe there was like um there might be a dinky dyes that are accidental trans pride colors. Uh, go, go look when you buy my pattern. I put that DMC in there and thanks to Kel. Um, every single, every single, let's make a statement that I do should be in this, in this, um, palette and should be this size. I'm giving myself structure. I don't know how I feel about it, but that's what I'm feeling. So you can hang them up as like, a, as bunting, bunting banners, banner, bunting banners. Yeah. How many will there be? I have a lot to say. So. 
Uh, thank you everyone who um, participated during the Trans Day of Visibility. Uh, the importance of the Trans Day of Visibility is to make trans people visible. Yes. <laughs> and not and not just like orgs and mutual aid and fundraisers and charities, but um, one thing that a lot of activists and I agreed on was this, this specific day, in, you've got to make room, make space for trans creators, trans artists, um, trans activists, tr just trans people, trans people who want to be seen because not all of us need to be seen right now because there's been a lot of visibility on us that are it's very negative um but the reason why we push that like share trans people's stuff trans businesses um and that sort of thing is when people get to know us for that day that translates to income and visibility all throughout the year so if you found, if you did the work and you found a new trans artist or a new trans business on the Trans Day of Visibility, chances are you'll go back to them um, again and again and again. And that's why it's so important to share trans-made art, trans-made businesses, trans-led organizations on that day specifically. Anyway, <laughs> I got I got to fire him up my butt about that one. Um, so I hope I'm going to take a break with the let's make the statements. Um, I've got a pride, pride sampler, um, in the works right now, but, um, you'll see something. I'd like to do something that's not me pleading for rights. <laughs> is that sad? I would like to do something that is not, um, I, mean, I have my pride sampler uh up but i i think afterwards i just want to i want to design something like the beverly glenn sampler that's meaningful to me without being a call to please help us <laughs> i'm really excited <laughs> i'd like to take a break i think after pride i will take a break from from that stuff um not that i get the privilege to but maybe i'll take some time for myself Okay, um, let's see. That was a finish, that was a finish. I have Toonies. Um, I think I showed you the Toonies finish. Kari finished the Toonies for us, and it's so cute. I think I'll show you that to you in May. Because let me tell you, I have two days to fully finish the majority of our models. So I think in May, my floss tube is just going to be every single model that Kari and I have ever collaborated on <laughs> and just like show you how I fully finished them. So I'm, I'll save two news for that. Um, let's do new starts. I think I told you about this one last time. This is the Afshan sampler. I wish I had the page oh no oh there we are by marumi designs and Miriam at marumi designs have has like just kicked it out of the park kicked it out of the park hit it out of the park obvious jock kick i guess if you play football you could kick it out of the park i guess that would be stadium Mm, my brain is bad. Here it is. It's in black and white. So pretty. Just a little band sampler um, that I just adore. And um, I am stitching it with fabric, 18 count fabric and floss that I dyed uh, with my buddies. I ice dyed. Here's the palette. And I'm just kind of picking and choosing. It may not look it, but there is some, um, like an, an ombre. It starts kind of yellowy and then goes more like darky, dark, dark purple. And then this is what we're, I've got two and a half bands. I am stitching it in the negative. 
And part of me, when I am stitching it, I'm like, oh, do I really want to do the negative? Because the pattern looks so perfect. I'm like, do I want to mess with it? But when I finish it, it does... I do like it. I think I'm going to have to wait to see... Wait to see. When I get to more bigger, like, blocks of negative space to see how it looks. But I do like it. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I do. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I do like it. And my little bubble tea. This is so nice and summery. I can't wait to bring this out in the summer. Bright. Big and bright. And Ada. And I finally have a piece of a uh, whip that I can stitch on Ada. I don't have many Ada. And that's so nice to just get it going. Um, great. Okay. That's the new start. Um... Here is my next piece, that's a whip. I took this out for a couple days. This is the Heart Sampler by Bad Vibes Only, Fergus. And I think during the Trends Day of Visibility, um, I always post this one because it's my, abs I think, my favorite design of all time. Yeah, I said it. My favorite design of all time. I think, yeah, absolutely. It's the organic shapes mixed in with the band samplers and the motifs. Just like to die for. Um, I'm stitching it with Brin and Needle Floss that I got for, um, oh, I gotta find where the rest is. Um, Iron Maiden and Don't Touch Me, which was Spring Fling 2022. I have a bunch more somewhere um and i let me take the cue snap off oh no you know do you all have like a cue snap or a hoop per project oh or do you share because i tend to forget where my, where my snaps are at all times here we go. I believe this is um, 36 count in the pink by color and cotton. Not sure. I used it for uh, you see vamp, vamp Valentine up there. Same one. Same fabric. like a soft peachy pink here we are so I started on page two and I am not following the colors recommended I'm just kind of piecemealing I'm trying to get it the colors more even there we are so anything kind of to the all this I got to finish I'm right now using, there we are. I'm right now using four Brin and Needle and one DMC, one just white or like blanc or ice, you know, the pinkish white. But I think I might add more Brin and Needle um, just so I don't run out. This is a really, there's a lot of floss in this piece and I don't want to run out. So I might, I kind of stalled because I need to go and decide do I want to add another color or not mm, I love it I love it if you don't have it grab it please do it it's the best pattern out there in my humble opinion my opinion is never humble <laughs> um let's see heart sampler uh oh Dookie. Wait. Hmm. 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 Is this it? Whoopsie. Nope. That's not it. I have, um, I did some stitching on, oh, must be still upstairs. Did some stitching on, uh, arranging seashells, which is in ink circles. I'll maybe show that to you next time. It's upstairs. I'm not going to go get it, <laughs> but, uh, I'm almost done. Um, yeah, I, I have a question for y'all. 
I think I'll pick your brain about it next time about arranging seashells. But it's upstairs, out of sight, out of mind. Sorry. Oh no, I'm blurry. Look at my... There we go. No, it's still... There we are. They had a couple days on. This is Strawberry Thief uh, by the, the from the William Morris cross stitch book. Oh, let me uh, cover up the back. There we are. There we are. Wow, look at the little stitches. Uh, this is one over one. I think it's twenty eight count. Maybe. I made them real tiny, like. And uh, I did the wing, did the straw, bubbies, did his little foot. Um, this pattern is fun until it is not. <laughs> I love that it's kind of, it's a color complete, completer's dream. Uh, not a lot of fussy fuss, but there is a lot of counting. Um, especially in the bird. Especially in the bird. Um, so I was able to work on it a couple times, but like at a moment, I just did not have the brain to count anymore. Count, count, counted cross stitch. Are you kidding me? Here's the floss. Beautiful. Natty gifted me. Oh yeah, there we go. Really pretty. I still have like seven William Morris cross stitch books. <laughs> Some of them with the pages ripped out. Um, so, you know, if you want one, you know who you are. Come get it. Um, there you go. This is the one I just recently worked on. This is Jane Hopkins. By Hands Across the Sea. There she is. But I have a question. These ain't the real people, are they? Probably not. They're probably just... Hands across the sea, probably just pick. Pick a, pick a girl. Pick a girl, any girl. But that would be amazing if this was her. They do do their research. They do do their research. I am. Oh, let's take it out. Let's give you a treat. Let me show you the whole thing. Why the heck not? There we are. Hold on. Let's put a backer behind it. Wow. This is on, um, Zweigarv. Let me look. Newcastle Light Mocha 40 count. There she is. And I'm just doing that little burb on this side. I'm doing the cool organic shapes of the flowers down. Again, I'm a sucker for um, when a sampler has these uh, uh, geometric pieces of like the, the cross-stitch approximation of what a flower looks like. And then they have these very like organic, real, closer to a more of a natural look of what a flower actually looks like. I'm a sucker for that. If you know any samplers that have that, boy howdy. I'm a sucker. Only got a couple days on that. Um, I'll keep her out. I'll keep her out. Oh, you know what? I took off half the goose snap and I left it on the floor and... After I'm done, I'm going to look down and say, where did that belong? Oh. Current D helping out future D. Always got to be a helper. Okay. Um, I want to show you a couple. There's two things. Again, I received a couple packages, um, but I didn't write down exactly when I got them and who I got them from. So I will put that again till May when I get my space organized. But I do want to show you a couple of special things that uh, came my way. First is, hello, she's back. 
This is the cursed black anchor cell. Sal. And it's traveled. It's traveled to, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 people and me. Wow. Hey, that's pretty good. That's, it's, all, it's been almost a year. When it came back to me, I think it was like March. That's almost February. So it's only, almost been a year, and that's, that's pretty good, 11 people. Um, I got it back. Uh, not because I want it back. I don't want this curse back. Uh, but because I will bring it to Stitch North with me. If you have not heard of the Cursed Anchor Cell, um, it's a story that's been told in my uh, back in the archives, <laughs> the plus tube archives. But basically what it is, is um, I, hold on, let me get it. There we are. I, um... I had heard from a lot of people that Anchor Black was had better coverage. So I got a spool of Anchor Black from my local uh, Michaels, because that is a big box crop store in Canada. Um, and I got it and I stitched on one thing and it was awful. It felt like straw. It, it uh, got really fuzzy. Um, it's awful to work with. Uh, actually, this is it now. It's moving a little better now that like I think it's been touched a lot more. Our oils have, our collective oils have gotten on it. So it's gotten a lot better. Um, but there was this weird thing where people were reporting if you bought a spool of thread, of anchor thread in certain areas, that was crappy shitty anchor. Uh, and then I had people from Europe send me um, skeins of anchor and that stuff's good. So like there was a lot of red string. <laughs> I spent a lot of time on it. Um, what was the conclusion? Do not remember. But all I know is I want to get rid of this anchor black. So I, I made a list and you know what? I'll put the, if you want to sign up for it, I'll put, and you haven't already, I'll, I'll put the list uh, down below. If you signed up and your address changed, just do it again because this is going to take a while. Um, so each person um, got to stitch one motif and we're kind of going around in a circle. Um, I don't want to have favorites because they're all beautiful children, but Seb, you're, I love this little spider. Oh, it's so darling. <laughs> it's so cute. Um, but they're all just fantastic. I love how everyone is kind of getting in the, in the mood. Is this a little monkey? I love this monkey too. The cat doing a high five. Oh. Um, so I'm bringing this with me to Stitch North. If you are a person who wants to do a collective sampler and wants to stitch with really shitty anchor <laughs> floss, um, come see me at my table. Uh, the only rule is don't cut the floss, leave it hanging on the back um, because you do not want to be cursed, see? See, someone follow the rules. Excellent. We want the floss to be, or just like tuck it in, right? If you leave black anchor cursed orts on your person, it is not my, it is, I warned you. If you get cursed, I warned you. <laughs> um, I'd like to thank everyone who participated so far. Thank you very much. Especially for people who like, um, <laughs> there was a couple people who had kind of a shipping mail headache. I appreciate you the most. Thank you for sticking with it. Um, I really, really appreciate you. So this is coming to Stitch North. Um, I might talk to someone. Maybe I'll talk to Kaylee. I'll maybe leave it with someone for Weekend B and maybe the Weekend B people can... Because I know there's a lot of Weekend B people. Maybe y'all can do it too. I just want to... <laughs> this is a lot of... There's a lot of thread left. I want to, I want to, I want it done. I want it off my plate. So that's the cursed anchor sal. Um, it will be coming with me. Um, the other thing that I got is, uh, my friend Jesse, um, put together a box. I think you heard me talk about it. The, um, 
Burb box, the February box. It uh, was a collaboration between me, um, Kari, uh, Michelle of Bendy Stitchy, and Jesse. And uh, they sent me, they sent me the collection. So first of all, these are all the patterns. They knocked it. Everyone knocked it out of the park. Holy jumping. Um, so this is Jesse. This is Jesse pattern number one. There we go. These two swans. I am a sucker for organic shapes, especially flowers. Look at that border with the irises. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Sorry, my voice just cracked. Are you kidding me? I love it. Number two. Oh, Michelle. It's called Pocketbook Peacocks. You give me some pea, pea hens, some guinea fowl, some peacocks, and I'm all over it. I really, I think this is going to be my number one, uh, mostly because I'm going to turn it into two boy peacocks, and they're going to be kissing. <laughs> um, I want to appreciate, like, I appreciate the border in this one with the irises. That is so tough. The thing I want to appreciate here in Michelle's is the ivy. I don't know about you. Um, I find ivy to be like maple leaves and ivy to be the hardest to design. And those pieces of ivy are not that big. And Michelle did a wonderful job with that. I also love the colors. I love the fabric that she chose for everything. And then this is, whoa, this is Kari and mine. It's called Re Rebirth. This is the original art that Kari gave me. Um, I think I'll probably, with a snail mail, I'll probably give one of these away. Cause I, I mean, I have it. <laughs> uh, Jesse was also very nice. And, um, gave me the fabric. I could be nice and pass on the fabric, but I don't, I don't, I like this fabric so much. I kind of want to keep it and design on it. This is new spring. This is all, uh, thir this is 32 count. This is 32 count. This is awakening. I love that orange. Oh, sucker for it. This is renewal. Oh, it's so pretty. It's a lot. It's coming off a little gray there, but it's really pretty. Jesse has such pretty fabrics. Um, and then I got all these, I got all these stuff. Oh, little birds. Jesse, did you draw these? There you go. A little bird is everywhere. Jesse, did you draw those? I wonder. Stickies. I'm going to put those in my water bottle. A fwab. Is that what they're called? <laughs> I just say words sometimes because I've heard them said in other floss tubes. Is this a scissors fob? What is a fob? Sounds like a fancy macaroni boy fob pretty gorgeous and then the floss ring with the little burb little bird um i do want to give some of this away to sh to share the wealth um but please excuse me if i don't if i covet all of jesse's fabrics <laughs> um that's it that's everything i have in my immediate vicinity it's 34 minutes all right i have so much to do i have so much to do so i can't sit around and chat with you for very long um thus i will not be doing a snail mail this this episode because i'm backed up um i was a bad boy i haven't sent out last month's because of spring fling and, and stitch north don't worry it'll be great um so i'm backed up so i'm not going to do snail mail i'm not going to do education because my brain is not 
processing in the level that it needs to be to, to teach. <laughs> I, do, I do have something here. Hold on. This is my, this is brand new. Hold on. That's my education. <laughs> this is from the Transfigure Print Company. And if you haven't followed them, I don't know what you're doing with your life. Boy, gee. Okay, 35 minutes. Yeah, let's do it. I'm going to call that there. I've got so much to do. Um, May is going to be an extravaganza, I promise you. Uh, if you are going to Stitch North, um, say hi. Hi. Uh, also, just like... This is, I'm just going to put it out there. Ask if you want a hug, ask for a hug. Sometimes I'm okay with hugs. Sometimes I'm not okay with hugs. So just ask. It's consent, right? Um, uh, but I will give you, I will give so many high fives <laughs> and thumbs up. Um, yeah, I'm really excited to see everyone. But I'm, my brain is scrambled right now. So I'll see you in May. I'll see you on the other side. Um, follow my Instagram if you want. All the, all the Stitch North business. I'll be posting all there. Okay. I'm still your Stitch Dad. I'm so tired. My brain is the scramblies, but I love you and I'm proud of you. Goodbye.